I tried to say that I'm a functional adult, but my phone auto-corrected it to fictional adult, and I feel like that's a little bit more accurate. Computers are great when they do what we want, when they want, when we want it, but it often doesn't work out that way. By show of hands, who feels like their computer doesn't do what they want all the time? I definitely think so. Well, I can't fix your autocorrect, but I can help speed up your computer so at least it will act a little bit faster. And my name is Philip, and I have worked computers for quite a while. I've worked information technology for about five years, and I have taken classes in college on computers and I'll be mainly talking about Windows 10 and how to speed that up, but these same principles can apply to any computer. Nate Drake, author of over a hundred articles on TechRadar, says that your computer has some extremely useful built-in features to improve overall efficiency, and we are going to use some of those. Hmm. We are going to Basically what we want to do is keep your computer from multitasking. The more your computer multitasks, the slower it goes. So we are going to do this by disabling startup processes, removing unneeded programs, and closing unused programs. First, when you turn on your computer, your computer says, okay, I'm ready, but hang on a little bit longer. I need to get a few extra things ready for you. And it makes you wait longer. As computer specialist Spectre from PC World says, a whole lot of programs want to load every time you boot automatically, and each one slows down the boot process. To fix this, what we're going to do is tell your computer that it doesn't have to turn on every single one of these when you turn on your computer right away. So right click on the toolbar at the bottom of the screen and select Task Manager. Then click Startup and select a program and click disable. You can see on the right here that each one is listed either enabled or disabled. I've disabled all of mine except for Dropbox and you can see how heavily it impacts it. So the high impact ones will really slow down your computer when you turn it on. So I disable as much as I can. <sighs> Second, we want to remove unused programs or crapware, as Michael Muchmore, who is the lead analyst from PC Magazine, says. A lot of computers come with programs already on them, or they, they come with a lot of programs already on them, either used or new. Some are useful, such as paint, but a lot of them are harmful or just advertisements. You accidentally put them on by downloading something from the internet or they're just old and you don't use them anymore. But every single program on your computer slows it down. So we want to remove those programs that we're not using. And to do this, search, type in the search bar remove and then you'll see add or remove programs will pop up there and click on that. After that you'll see all the programs installed on your computer and I have it sorted here by by size, but you can sort it by date as well. And so, let's say this program I haven't used in a long time, just click uninstall, and you can see it's a pretty large program, and we can remove that. By removing unused programs, your computer will just run faster all the time. Thirdly, some people like everything going all the time, but like we said earlier, if you do that, it's going to slow down. So in this example, I've got half a dozen Chrome tabs open, I have a whole bunch of programs open, and I have even more things open in the lower right corner. When I did this, it slowed down everything by about 50%. So if you try to do everything, it'll all go slower. And the solution to this is simple, just close stuff you're not using. Remember, each of those tabs on Chrome will slow your computer down. So if you only need one of those tabs, close out everything else. So basically, stop everything. Like my computer information systems professor said, 
stop everything. Uh, when we disable startup programs, remove crapware, and close everything you're not using, your computer will run faster. And these techniques will help your computer run faster, but there comes a certain point where we can't make your old computer run any faster, and you just need a new computer. But these tools, even if you do have an old computer, will help change your fictional tool into a functional tool. Thank you.